So the entire crypto market was super volatile in the last couple of days here because that most of the altcoins and Bitcoin has continued here to go down. But finally, looks like we hit some rock bottom here and we bounced off an increase here by 20, 30, maybe even some coins for 40%. So Crow did the exact same thing. We had a nice increase here, but of course, we were still far away for from where we were a couple of days ago. So how I recommend you guys to watch the entire video to really understand what is happening here to Crow and what's gonna happen to the future of Crypto.com. And of course, if you do enjoy this video, it means so much to me if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go and check it out. So here we are, core market cap right now, the market cap here for Kronos is basically $4.8 billion. Where they go down, like I said, basically we were, I think, I think at 7 billion. So seeing that we we're below 5 billion is kind of disheartening. But of course, it's a really good time, like if you want to buy the dips. So volume here did go down by 44% in the last 24 hours. And we're at $89 million here for Kronos. If you look at it here, the last seven days, we can see that yeah, we just continued here to go down and now we're just finally having a little, a little bit of a pump here. We're up by 8.9%, which is pretty much okay, but still not enough if we want to go back where we were all the way before. So, let's continue. Couple of updates here from Crypto.com. So, first thing first, everybody knows what's been happening here to Luna, to Terra Luna. Basically, Terra Luna has been destroyed. So, it went from $100 to right now, I think, 0 0.0005. So, yeah, totally destroyed. And because of that, Crypto.com did this, saying here, due to extreme market conditions affecting Luna, Mirror, and Anchor, uh, these tokens have been su suspended within the Crypto.com app an exchange so basically they removed luna here an anchor so yeah there you go this is why luna is actually like totally dying right now i feel so sorry for all the people who lost all of their money here because yeah the, the problem is when you see like top 10 coins and even the like the top 10 coins can actually break and destroy and go all the way to zero and this coin i just can't believe it but it's actually going to zero it's it's not a joke it's it is going to zero which is absolutely insane so yeah like i said whole crypto market pretty weird things have been happening right now stabilization and we're trying to pump up again so they had like a, a scheduled maintenance they had like a scheduled maintenance here for crypto.com visa cards for the euro and europa for the eu for europe and uk so this is what happened today at least a couple of hours ago so pretty cool everything is okay everything should be working now but if we go here to chronos chain the update has been implemented so saying here basically the chronos chain minute has successfully upgraded to version 0.7.0 the hygiene hygienes let's call them so this upgrade includes several major bug fixes upgraded node storage performance and dynamic fee structure for gas fee optimization paving the way for accelerated growth on chronos the chronos team will be actively monitoring network performance in order to identify further areas of improvement so for more information regarding the main mainnet you can check out this post if you do want so and those are all the updates here about uh, the mainnets and about chronos in general but let's check out the price let's see what's been happening first thing you want to see is basically DeFi Llama. So DeFi Llama is a website where you can see how much coins, how much value actually is locked in different blockchains. So Kronos right now we're at 1.6 billion. The all-time high for TVL was actually here at, if I just see it, 3.5 billion. So we did go down. Why did we go down? It's because people wanted to take out their money because they were losing too much money. So Kronos was going down. As Kronos is going down, most of the altcoins here are also going to go down and because of that people just wanted to sell all of the altcoins and maybe hold some stable coins or something like that because of that we lost a lot of locks but as you can see here we're still at 1.6 billion which is still a pretty good number if you're asking me now if you check out the rest of them here we can see the bc is a really good one right now still we're at 8 billion avalanche here still at five but all of them are making new lows for for the tvl solana 3 billion which is not that good because we were at 11 billion 12 billion so this is a lot lower what happened normally is that all of the money basically all the chains everybody was going into terra luna and staking there and locking their tokens there 
And I think Terlon had like more than 12 uh, billion total TVL. And we're gonna see right now, but here it is. So this is Terra right now. So this is Terra, boom. No, oh yeah, it had 20. 21 billion at the all time high. Now it has 791 million locked. Imagine still having 800 million dollars locked in Terra Luna and you can't do anything about it. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I, I just can't believe it. Yeah, this is all just terrible actually. So, like I said, I'm super sorry for everybody here, but yeah, in the end, Kronos is still doing an okay job. You're pretty close to your Phantom, but still, because the whole market volatility, people are still scared to even invest into anything. So they're not gonna lock their tokens. Pretty much, I believe a lot of people are just gonna hold their their stable coins for a long time until oh uh, they buy some dips here, and that actually happens. So a lot of people did buy the dips. So if you check out the chart here, we can actually see that we had a dip here at 0 0.16, so 16 cents. And we pumped up here all the way to 19, yeah, 19 cents. And is that a nice thing for you? Well, it's it's not that good if you're asking me. Because if we go from here to here, it's so about 15%. Well, other coins, like, let's see, Cardano, if you go from the bottom to the top here, increase 50%. So seeing 15% and 50% is not good. So Gala Games, also, I think it's like a f more than 50. Yeah. It's a 100% increase. So... Because of that, I don't believe this is a good move. I don't believe that uh, that Crow is doing a great job still. So what needs to happen to Crow basically is that in time, I do believe that they will go back to the all-time highs. But like I said, it's just going to take, take some time. That's it. I do believe the Crow has some really good fundamentals. Maybe like I said, it's not like a super revolutionary blockchain, but the things they do, they do a really good job at it. So, because of that, I do believe for the long run, Crypto.com is a really, really good blockchain and the platform is really good, the exchange is really good, so everything should be okay. Of course, things are going to change in the future. They needed to do the things they needed to do, but they just did it in a wrong way. And that's why a lot of people did sell their crow, like at one point. But now, everybody's down, so... Right now, like everything is just a lot cheaper. Now, the problem is with everything is that will Bitcoin continue to go down even more in the future? Because if Bitcoin continues to go down, then you better expect that the whole market will go down with Bitcoin again. So let's measure this. So how much did Bitcoin increase? If you go from the, from the low to this top here, it's about 20%. Let's say it's 20%. So we're back at 30K, which is really interesting, really good actually for now. But the problem is I still think that we're gonna make some new lows like these last like three or four days of this destruction was pretty terrifying because we hit 30k so many times and we tried to bounce off to about like bounce off but in the end we just didn't do it we in the end we just broke through we reached all the way here to twenty five thousand dollars per bitcoin and we tried to make some new highs but yeah, see here we got rejected again and 30 at 30k so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that but if we go here to one week i want to show you guys this part here so so basically we have here our 200 ma so basically with this ma uh it shows us that we're at 22,000 here this is where the ma is and as you can see here before in the past every single time we bounce off of this ma so we're still gonna get close to that MA. We still have like from 25 to two basically, a long way to go. So I do believe that there's a massive chance that that's the thing that we need to do. That basically we need to go down, retouch this yellow line, and then try to bounce off and continue to go up to make some new highs, if, that, if that's even possible. So yeah, for now, I do believe that Bitcoin is going to make even more lows. I don't know if it's gonna ha if it's gonna happen right now or maybe just in like a couple of weeks, but I do believe that this is still not the bottom of the bear market because it's it could go down a lot more. I just I just believe it could go down all the way here to 22. This is where we're gonna maybe just dip here to 20, like just touch it, just touch like the previous all-time high, then bounce off and make some new highs. At least that is what I think is going to happen here. It doesn't have to be that it is 
a possibility. But yeah, guys, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you didn't mean so much me, if you can like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video.